Station, hello. What are you doing? Can I come in? Can I come in? Hmm, Charlie? Alright, hello everybody and hello to all the cockatiels out there and any other birdies that may be watching. Hello Charles. So it's a pretty miserable day here today. There's a lot of rain and thunder in the vicinity. Hello. So yeah, a lot of rain and thunder about at the moment. It's been some pretty crummy weather in the last week. The last year, to be honest. Um, so just got a few things to say this week. Um, if you ask questions on my videos, I love everybody asking questions and leaving comments, that's cool. Um, just be aware, sometimes the way YouTube works, I don't always see them. Sometimes they come via email, sometimes they come via the YouTube app on my phone, sometimes they only pop up on the notification tab on the website. So it's a bit hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes they go in the spam folder, sometimes they go in the to be checked folder. And so sometimes it takes a few days for me to find them or see them and some of them I don't seem to see at all and I find them weeks later and think, how did that even get in there? So if you've, if you've asked me a question and I haven't answered it, you know, it's not deliberate, I'm not ignoring you, you know. But some days also I get... Squirrel birds! Sometimes I get up to, you know, I might get a couple of dozen questions in one day, you know, and then the next day I'll have nothing, and then the next day I'll be another dozen, and sort of a bit all over the place. And when I, when I release a video, I get lots of comments. Um, but often when I release the video, I cannot answer the comments straight away because it's released at like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning New Zealand time, so I'm asleep when it goes online. Uh, it's just scheduled to go on. And so, yeah, I, I, don't, I can't answer the comments straight away. Sorry. I try and get to as many as I can. Hey, what's up, Reels? Yeah, and the rain's just starting here. Also, another quick thing. Um, if you haven't checked out the Patreon page, have a look at that. Um, these videos that I put up go up on Patreon first, ad-free for the people on Patreon. So if you want to join up on Patreon, there's a link in the description below and at the end of this video, and I'll see if I can put it up here on the corner of the screen right about now or now somewhere around there um so yeah check out patreon there's also a donate button on the what's up guys a donate button on the um my main channel page if you'd like to donate money to the pheasantasium trying to save up at the moment gonna buy some better camera equipment i hate this camera it um the audio is just so bad on it and I've got to keep trying to block out all the traffic noise which sounds so amplified on this camera. My previous camera which had a bit of a heart attack, I didn't have to do that on because it wasn't, it was a much better camera. Um, I thought this one was going to be alright but it turned out to be a piece of rubbish. Um, so yeah, saving up some better camera stuff and a 360 degree camera so we can have 360 degree videos in here where you can turn the camera to follow and look where you want to look. So that'll be cool. So if you want to support that, check out the links on my channel page in the description below. Much appreciated. Anyway, back to the birds. What are you doing, Swins? It's about to get heavy that rain, isn't it, guys? The chickens are running for cover. <laughs> Now, somebody in Avery next door here is sitting on eggs again. Oh, she's out and about at the moment. Blanc has been sitting on eggs again. Don't yellow, don't be a wuss. You guys need some more food. I'll give you some food in a minute. Oh, yellow, you big bully. It's getting rough out here. Mm. 
Uh, not very good video through two layers of mesh. Now these guys, <laughs> uh, I'm not having much luck. Oh, I'm not having much luck with the video focusing at the moment. Let's get that out of the way. Open this door. Pop on in here. Well, red rums don't get much video time now that they're in this Avery. Thought they might have nested in here, but they don't seem to be all that happy in here still, unfortunately. But come summer, I'll put in a nest box and we'll see if we can finally get some successful red rum babies. As soon as they won't have distractions of turks and teals. These guys are all still getting along good, but like I say, they're not. No one's really using the sandbar type areas. They walk around in them and pick around in them, but they don't actually dust bathe in them. Like I was hoping. But, such is life. That's birds for you. Try and do things for them, and they ignore it. You build covers and things for them. You build little houses. And you build covered areas. And then they go and sit out in the open and things like that. The first quail we had, I built them a little house to go in and they never went in it. It was quite a big thing. Never went in it. These guys... Yeah, what was that? Hey, what was that? That was my phone. These guys, you know, they will quite happily just sleep out in the open. They're funny little birds. Um, so I've kind of given up the idea of building shelters for birds. The covered area in the main aviary, they don't really use that much. They certainly don't sleep under it like was my intention. Often on miserable nights, the teals will be sleeping out in the rain over in the corner of the aviary. And as for pheasants, well, they'll sleep in the most exposed place they can. You doing, Yellow? You could have Yellow and his um, missus in here. Got together and laid some eggs. Your head's looking a lot better, mate. Finally, starting to heal up. It's only been about a year. <laughs> it's always going to be a bit damaged, poor old Yellow. His damaged wing and poor old damaged head. Thanks to um, Little Miss Red Rump over here. That's one of the reasons she's separated, because she's just too nasty to the Turk cuisines. And she bashed up Charlie even one time and injured his eye, which you've probably seen in the video. Hello, Yellow. Come on, say hello, mate. Hmm? Say hello to everybody. Yellow is our only yellow turquoisine. He just happened to pop out yellow. We had three. We had a, a batch of six babies from the one group pair of parents and three of them came out yellow and three of them came out green but unfortunately there was something up with those birds and all of them I think have died all of them died pretty quickly once they got to adult you know they got fully plumaged and then for some reason we had something wrong with them or something I don't know but they all just mysteriously would die overnight um, or they were flying into the mesh maybe, I don't know, being startled by cats, not sure. Yellow is the only one who survived out of all them. And even he's pretty damaged goods. But he's a very sweet little bird. He's quite tame. Um, and he's a bit of a sook. Right, I think I'm going to have to go inside. It's going to get too wet and cold out here getting to the point of the year we're going to have to start lighting fires not in here obviously in the house getting to that sort of temperature oh I'm getting dripped on it let's go back through the other side you waiting for me hmm? you been waiting for me yeah don't fly in there someone will bash you up if you go in there so hey Joestar What are you doing up there, Swin?
We get another rain. So yeah, it looks like it's settling in and is going to be torrential shortly. <laughs> Are you? Have you got a nest in there? Are you nesting in there again, Twisty? Are we going to be able to see? Is it going to be too dark? A bit too dark. See if I can get my phone light in there before it gets too wet. Bear with me. <laughs> oh, I can't hear a see. I can't see if there's anything in there or not. Maybe you can see it on the camera. My last camera had a light on it. This silly camera doesn't. Okay, getting a bit wet now guys. So I will leave it there for this week. And I will see you all next week. Over winter there won't be too many changes in here probably. Um, apart from the grass it will probably die off. A lot of greenery in here at the moment. It's been quite warm last week until the last couple of days where the temperatures just plummeted. I heard on the news this morning that it's meant to be one of the coldest winters on record, but who knows. It was said by a reporter who also said we had one of the best summers when we've had one of the worst. So, can't trust these people. So, I'll see you next week. Leave your comments below. Check out Patreon. Thanks a lot. That looked a bit weird. What are you doing, Jasper? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing?